Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leila. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've been rocking with me, thank you too for supporting your girl. Today's look is the graphic liner look and I'm just going to show you how I achieved this. I'm starting off with the Dennis Americks Hydrating Lotion and I'm going to color correct my face with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and MAC Cosmetics Pro Conceal Palette. The foundation of choice today is by my grandmother, Pat McGrath, and it's the Sublime Perfection Foundation. This is my second try of this foundation, and I really love the finish. I like how lightweight it is, and it just really gives you that next to skin finish that you want or that I want. Then I'm highlighting my face with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is beginning to be one of my favorite concealers to use because it's thick, it stays in place, and it doesn't move. Heading over to contour my face with the Fenty Beauty Match 6 in Espresso. And, you know, putting the contour where my shadows need to be. I'm really enjoying how my skin is turning out, but then the foundation is really on the high side and you just gotta do the work, you know? <laughs> and I trust my grandma and Pat McGrath. Anyway, we're blending with the brush, but I blended with a beauty blender and I'm jumping right into my nose contour. It's the exact same process I shared in my foundation base video or my foundation routine video. I put a link up there so that you guys can catch up on that. And you know, after using a brush, you gotta follow it up with a booty blender. <laughs> so I'm just blending now the contour and I don't want no ash lines. Now I am setting my contour with the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in Deep 4 and I'm just pushing that powder in. So we're getting ready for the graphic liner. I'm just creating a base and I'm using my setting powder and my bronzing powder to create this simple basic eyeshadow look just to get ready for the um, graphic liner. Graphic liners are really, really exciting to create because they're like really easy, but they create like the extra drama, the extra oomph that you need for a basic look. Drawing a basic liner close to my lash line with the Inglot 77 gel liner and I'm smudging it out. Then I'm cleaning up the end with concealer to create like a halo wing. Just like a regular wing liner, I'm going to be drawing a line from my lower lash line to connect to the line on top just to get that wing. Working the inner corner of my eye, I'm creating an extended line from my tear duct outwards and connecting it to my water line to also create the halo effect there. So now I'm cleaning up both halos with a precision brush and a concealer because I need it to be quite vivid <laughs> and I'm applying my setting powder to keep it in place. If you know me, you know I'm super obsessed with details, so I went back into my gel liner to make the wing and the lines sharp. And I'm literally just gently applying the liner so I don't go beyond where the um, prior line was, you know, just gentle. And I'm really liking how this look is turning out. To my crease, I drew a regular line to guide me, then I started to build on it in the shape and direction that I want and I just kept on trying to make it a little bit thicker because I needed like another type of wing there. So with a regular um, angled brush, I'm applying my Inglot 77 gel liner. When I was satisfied with how the line was, I cleaned up all the edges with concealer to make them nice and clean and, oh my god, steady hands guys, steady hands. Applying my falsies from Lost Star Cosmetics in Ninja, I used this because I didn't want the lashes to take away from the drama my eyeliner is giving me. 
Then we're going to do this on the other side of my eyes. And voila, just like magic, it's done. So now I'm lining my lips with the LA Girl Forever Red lip pencil. Finally, the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint. This is my first time of trying this lip color and as you can see my excitement <laughs> i really really love the application on this it makes gliding over the leaves feel like luxury you know and oof, the color oh my god the color <laughs> the pigments is actually insane and it's definitely worth the rave that came with this when it first dropped the formula is a hundred for me it's lightweight it's easy to spread you can layer on and it doesn't feel matte but rather moisturizing and i did notice a blue undertone because of my skin undertone and that's fine it reminds me of the colored rain cherry blossom and i loved and lost that one it pained me <laughs> this is definitely going up as one of my faves so now i'm setting my face with the two faced angover spray and i'm literally feeling myself because wow look at that lip color look at that liner damn <laughs> the highlight i'm using now is the laura mercier in seduction And I'm going to use a blush from NARS called Exhibit A. And there you have it guys, the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell button to get notification for my next video. Until next time, goodbye.